Heavenly Father, in the name of I come to you, Father, to thank you for this day. Father God, to give you praise, honor, glory. And I thank you, Father. You are awesome. You are wonderful. You are holy. You are great. I thank you for this day, Father God. And I pray that everyone's mind here today is open and ready to receive your words. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hello, everyone. God is good all the time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome, 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 everyone. Everyone that is here, new, um, listening to the show for the first time, I welcome you. I appreciate you. And go ahead and share the show and tell others about the show. And um, just come on in. I'm here every, every single week. So I thank you for tuning in and listening in. Um, For those of you who have been following me um, since the beginning, and those of you who have been following me for quite some time now, I welcome you back as well. Um. Those of you who have been following, you know that I am talking about um, the life of Joseph, the life of, um, I'm not Joseph, but um, the life of Jacob, the life of Jacob, Jacob and his brothers, the family. And so we started at, um, in Genesis verse chapter 36. I believe it was 36 and we are going all the way to the end of Genesis and that is 50. So if you haven't already, go back and read um, Genesis chapter 36 on to 50. Read as much as you can um, because we are going through, we are in the season now and we are going to discuss um, different things and happenings in the Bible. And so that is the season that um, the show is has taken on. Um, being guided by the divine, wonderful Holy Spirit. So we are going to be reading, get your Bibles ready, um, chapter 42 and 43. And um, let's see, while I'm here, um, next week, we will be reading, let's see, um, chapter 44, and I think it goes up until 34, and um, we'll be reading chapter 44 and chapter 45, so go ahead and, and study that um, and read that if you haven't already. So I'm going to delve right into it right now. And um, I have the King James Version here. So um, any version that you have is fine. Um, and if you don't have your Bibles with you, um, go ahead and, and read later chapter Genesis chapter 42 and 43 and as much as you can up to 50. And uh, right now, if you don't have your Bibles with you, just um, go ahead right now and just listen in as I read um, these two chapters. Now, the synopsis here is Jacob sends his sons to buy grain in Egypt. They bow before Joseph. He accuses them roughly, imprisons Simeon, and sends them back for Benjamin. Benjamin, the baby brother. So I won't go um, through everything that's been going on here um, with with um Jacob here but um go ahead and as I said and read that um those chapters um in in when you get time in your spare time um and I encourage you always to read the Bible every single day read the Bible every single day and stay prayed up stay prayed up never never stop never stop praying um starting with verse 1 here it says Now, when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do ye look upon one another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy for us 
from thence that we may live and not die. And Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob sent not with his brethren, for he said, Lest peradventure mischief befall him. And if you hear anything, um, it's live. I am also um, um, taping the show myself. So you may hear a couple little bells and whistles. You may hear a little pause, pause here or there. But that's okay. And I'm, I'm trying out some new technology um, as well. So um, bear with me. Um, let's see. Again, I'll start verse 3. And Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob sent out with his brethren. For he said, Lest peradventure mischief befall him. Mischief may befall him. And the sons of Israel came to buy corn. Among those that came from the famine was in the land of Canaan. And Joseph was the governor over the land, and he it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brethren came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces to the earth. And Joseph saw his brethren, and he knew them, but made himself strange unto them, and spake roughly unto them. And he said unto them, Whence come ye? And they said, From the land of Canaan to buy food. And Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew not him. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them, and said unto them, Ye are spies, to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. And they said unto him, Lord, But to buy food are thy servants come. We are all one man's sons. We are true men. Thy servants are no spies. And he said unto them, Nay, but to see the nakedness of the land, ye are come. And they said, Thy servants are twelve brethren, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan. And behold, the youngest is this day with our father, and one is not. And Joseph said unto them, That is it, that I spake unto you, saying, Ye are spies. Hereby ye shall be, hereby ye shall be proved. By the life of Pharaoh, ye shall not go forth hence, except your youngest brother come hither. Send one of you, and let him fetch your brother, and ye shall be kept in prison, that your words may be proved whether there be any truth in you. Or else by the life of Pharaoh, surely ye are spies. And he put them all together into war three days. And Joseph said unto them the third day, This do, and live, for I fear God. If ye be true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye, carry corn for the famine of your houses. But bring your youngest brother unto me. Shall your words be verified, and ye shall not die. And they did so. And they said one to another, We are verily guilty concerning our brother, in that we saw the anguish of his soul when he besought us, and we would not hear. Therefore is this distress come upon us. And Reuben answered them, saying, Spake I not unto you, saying, Do not sin against the child, and ye would not hear? Therefore, behold, Also his blood is required. And they knew not that Joseph understood them, 
for he spake unto them by an interpreter. And he turned himself about from them and wept and returned to them again and communed with them and took from them Simeon and bound him before their eyes. Then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn and to restore every man's, turning the page here, every man's money into his sack and to give them provision for the way and thus did he unto them. And they laded their asses with the corn and departed thence. And as one of them opened his sack to give his ass provender in the inn, I N N, he expired his money. For behold, it was in his sack's mouth. And he said unto his brethren, My money is restored, and lo, it is even in my sack. And their heart failed them, and they were afraid, saying, one to another. What is this that God hath done unto us? And they came unto Jacob their father, unto the land of Canaan, and told him all that befell unto them, saying, The man who is the Lord of the land spake roughly to us, and took us for spies of the country. And he said unto him, We are true men. And we said unto him, We are true men. We are no spies. We be twelve brethren, sons of our father. One is not, and the youngest is this day with our father in the land of Canaan. And the man, the Lord of the country, said unto us, Hereby shall I know that ye are true men. Leave one of your brethren here with me, and take food for the famine of your households, and be gone, and bring your younger brother unto me. Then shall I know that ye are not spies, but that ye are true men. So will I deliver you, your brother, and ye shall traffic in the land. And it came to pass, as they emptied their sacks, that, behold, every man's bundle of money was in his sack. And when both they and their father saw the bundles of money, they were afraid. And Jacob, their father, said unto them, Me have ye bereaved of my children. Joseph is not, and Simeon is not, and ye will take Benjamin away. All these things are against me. And Reuben spake unto his father, saying, Slay my two sons, if I bring him not to thee, Deliver him into my hand, and I will bring him to thee again. And he said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he is left alone. If mischief befall him by the way in the which ye go, then shall ye bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to the grave. Woo. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is really deep. This is this is the story here, and I'm just going to tell um, of the moral of the story, uh, one of the morals of the story here. Um, but right now, um, I'm going to go ahead and read chapter 43 here. And um, the synopsis says, Jacob is persuaded to send Benjamin to Egypt. Joseph's brethren make obeisance to him. They all eat and drink together. Okay. Reading here, um, chapter 43, um, verses 1 through 34. And the famine was sore in the land. And it came to pass, when they had eaten up the corn, which they had brought out of Egypt, they said unto them, Go again, buy us a little food. And Judah spake unto him, saying, the man did solemnly protest unto us, saying, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. If thou wilt send our brother with us, 
we will go down and buy the food.